after planning the next thing is the budget the budget is nothing but the fund allocation on the project so you can able to manage a fund on that particular uh, project or particular wbs the budget is only managed on the project and wbs level and not on the network activity so to maintain the budget you have to maintain the budget profile let's check the budget profile so again in budget profile you can be maintain either budget for a year wise or a annual wise so past two years future five years as per the company requirement <coughs> activation type that is whether the budget is automatic activation or background activation <coughs> that can be so as soon as you put the budget system will activate the availability control whether it is a overall or a release basis so release is nothing but the once you create the budget and you have to release then only the availability control get activated decimal places you required exchange rate type whether it is a controlling area object currency or a transaction currency you can be set okay and finally save if you want to copy and create a new profile you can create a new profile for a budget then you can assign the budget profile to the project profile so automatically once you or you can be find out from the possible entry also and then save create number ranges for the budgeting you can maintain the number ranges for the budgeting if you want to you can allocate the new number ranges or you can use the existing one for the budget document so whenever you post any budget in the system system automatically post the budget document across the same and create again that particular number define tolerance limit now you here you can set the define to particular tolerance limit across your company code controlling area and the company code so you need to select or you can be go by new entries we have already created one profile what is the tolerance group so tolerance group is nothing but on what percentage the message will comes okay like on what percentage you need to be the tolerance need to be activated so first of all the warning message you need to be set in normal industry practice you can be set on a 80% which is a warning message 90% which is a message with a mail and on a 100% it will straight away gives a error message but as per your business requirement or as per your industry requirement you can be set your own tolerance limit also so this plus plus is indicating it is applicable for all the budget will check during purchase requisition during purchase order during a uh, grn or a service entry sheet or your fi transaction so here if you look you can find out the different options it is purchase equation purchase order orders for a project that is nothing but a production order against the projects goods issues that is the time of the material issue then financial accounting direct posting against the wbs co document direct posting against the wbs during budgeting itself it checks the budget fund reservation during the fund management payroll it is again linked with the hr and the ps module that is the cat w fixed price in project so these are the different if you see the plus plus sign this applicable for the all one now you have to see the second one second one activation is on the mail so mail will be get uh, 
sent to that particular person who is a person responsible so initially we have maintained one person responsible so who is allocated on that particular wps as a person responsible he will automatically receive one mail that so and so wps budget will almost get 90% get exhausted so you have to do the add on budget and the third one is a error message which is directly gives you the error against the same so these are the tolerance limit i have set against this budget profile now particularly cost element all the budget values or a cost values in project system module flow with the cost element so cost element will manage the flow of the cost in the project system module so specific cost element i have need to be remove or i need to be uh, i need to be exempt from the particular budget check i have to maintain against the same so this can be taken care by the so on that particular cost element the system will not check the budget so this can be set here so for particular 1000 controlling area i don't want to set the uh, i don't want to check the budget on this particular cost element i have to set here and i have to save again this will be taken care by the joint decision taken care by the finance and ps module now we are talking about the settlement settlement is one of the crucial activity in the project system module because the wps or a network or a project is a temporary cost collector so you need to settle that cost across the particular object so in case of a customer project you have to settle the cost on a gl or a cost center or in case of a capital project you need to settle the cost through auc to fix a set so there are different cost object which is available in the system you need to settle the cost again the settlement of the project or a wps or a network is done by the finance department so this activity is a control by the fico module but for your knowledge purpose i will share how to do the settlement so first of all create the allocation structure where you need to be define or assignment the cost element if you see so this is the cost element group where all the cost will be goes so i can be assign either cost element range or i can assign the cost element group then i can assessment the cost element for which i need to be do the settlement and finally the cost element category where i need to be do a settlement of that particular cost element whether it is a profit center whether it is a cost center whether it is a as a fixed asset whether it is a order so these are the different cost object where you can settle the cost then create source structure so again you have to assignment the primary cost secondary cost work in process revenue cost so you can be able to manage a different cost and you have to assign the cost element on the same again this allocation structure so structure is defined in the fico module then pa transfer structure that is profitable analysis transfer structure again different cost can be recognized here and which are the source of that cost element you have to provide the group of that particular cost element and finally the settlement profile so again you can create your own profile or you can be use the standard profile so here we can be find out the different option whether it is a settlement is the optional settlement is the required or settlement is the not allowed so i don't want to settle the cost across the profitability segment or a business procurement or a real estate object i can be settlement as a not allowed i have set the flag as a settlement as a not allowed and where i have to do the settlement optional i can be either i can be do it against the gl either i can be against the cost center or a wbs or a order that i have to set then i have to allocate the allocation structure source structure 
across the same then I can be maintain whether the settlement need to be percentage or a amount base or a both I can be set here to be settled in a full not to be settled that can be set here so this is the way I can create a settlement profile in the system I can use the standard one or I can create my own settlement profile with a copy or a new entries finally I have to define default settlement profile to the settlement so I can assign the project profile to the settlement profile and I have to save again same way I can define the settlement rule for a network also so define strategy for the settlement whether it is a which can be the strategy for that particular WPS or uh, whether it is a settlement rule that I can define here and later on I assign the strategy to the network type and finally I have to assign the settlement profile to the settlement network so I can assign the appropriate profile to the network type which I have used settlement rule for a WPS determine strategy for settlement rule again same way network strategy we have to assign define the WPS strategy also so whether it is a billing or account assignment what are the settlement profile what is account assignment that I have to maintain again these settings are say, done by the FICO consultant and finally I have to assign the settlement profile strategy to the project profile now the revenue is nothing but the the revenue coming from the customer so same way the cost planning there is a revenue planning so you have to maintain the revenue planning across the particular WBS same way you have to maintain the revenue planning profile for the project whether it is a planning element what kinds of revenue planning or cost element group you need what is the exchange rate type value date currency for the revenue decimal place after entering all these you have to save and then you have to assign the specific revenue planning profile to the project profile <coughs> again you can create a number ranges for the revenue planning profile or you can choose the existing one also now one of the planning in the SAP project system model is the date planning so I can able to maintain the date planning across the project that is the defined scheduling type <coughs> so whether it is a forward backward capacity requirement current date forward with time entry backward in a time entry that I can set here these are the standard setting available in the SAP define time units if you want to maintain some unit of measurement for the particular days hours or specific for your business processes you can be maintain the standard unit of measure <coughs> define reduction strategy we are able to maintain the reduction strategy for the particular plant so whether the reduction activities duration for which whether it is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 that you can maintain <laughs> specify parameters for a network scheduling what kinds of scheduling parameters you, do you want on that particular you have to maintain on the network scheduling <laughs> so 
so whether the address basic dates as per the requirements as per your forward or backward scheduling type whether the system cur create a current date forward or backward on a network whether automatic scheduling automatic log is required scheduling with breaks is required this can be set all operation that in order will be reduced the reduction type which we have seen earlier maximum reduction that is l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 rescheduling whether you want to reschedule the particular uh, again the workforce planning so this can be saved <coughs> similarly define the parameter for wbs like network scheduling there is a wbs scheduling so you have to define the parameters for a wbs also whether the backward forward is required how much dates passed passed you required so you can be provided a dates date passed days passed basically then the scheduling determine dates whether it is a network or a activity <coughs> adjust basic dates automatic log is required automatic scheduling maximum reduction level you can maintain then graphic options on the wbs date planning what kinds of graphic options whether it you want to highlight the particular activity as a black blue brown gray red that you can be set here but this can be provided by the standard sap so we will not disturbing anything <coughs> so this is the way you can be manage your date planning on the wbs level <coughs>